Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to do another quick fire starting demo for you. And uh, this one uses a mothball and a panty liner of all things. And I love finding things that are normal household um, things you might have around and trying to find emergency uses for them. And this is none other. I recently saw a video on YouTube of somebody using a mothball and a cotton ball. So you rip open the cotton ball, put the mothball inside, fold it back up, you light that. And even in his video, he had a hard time getting it to work. But I was very, very intrigued by this. He said it was a violent starter, violent flame rather. It burned six minutes. And so I started playing around with this. I could not get it to work, not even close to what he claims. And I don't want to say who it is and badmouth him because everything else this guy has done, every other video I've seen of him, uh, podcast, it's all amazing. But he just came up short with this one. But I was very intrigued by this though, of using these mothballs as fuel. So the two problems that I had were number one, in the solid mothball form, it's very, very hard to get them to burn. They don't want to burn. The other problem was not enough air was getting to them inside the material. If you cover it with cotton or whatever, it seemed that the cotton was always covering it. Not enough oxygen could get to this for it to combust properly. So I've played around with all kinds of things, and this is what I came up with to get it to work. One mothball, one panty liner. I'm going to open this up, get rid of the wrap, the, uh, the wrapper. We're also going to take the adhesive part off the bottom, get rid of that too, the trash. Don't mind the car going by, I'm in the parking lot right now. And we're going to use the adhesive and adhere this right onto the sidewalk. And I'm going to rip open a hole of the absorbent layer, just big enough for this mothball, right in the center here. You don't have to close it up, just put it in there. You're still going to be able to see it, that's fine. You need some blunt object to smash this now, to, to, uh, to make it into powder. So you can use like a shoe, a rock, I'm going to grab a piece of the sidewalk here. Smash it, that's all. So now it's powdered, it's going to burn a lot easier. The other thing is the airflow. So what we're going to do, what I found works the best actually, it's kind of goofy. You fold this up into a Oregon Trail style covered wagon kind of deal. And right there, that increases the airflow in there. And now, I'll get my lighter here. Now you light it, it works a lot better than before. So we'll watch what this does in a second. Now, still you have to go through all this preparation. I mean, these mothballs, if you don't store them in something airtight, they're going to eventually evaporate into nothing. So you need to store them in some kind of like Altoids tin wrapped around with duct tape or something to seal it. And then you have to do all this preparation. You fold up the panty liner, you, you crush it and all that. It, it works. It only burns a minute. Vaseline cotton balls, there's less preparation and they burn six minutes in the wind or in the rain or whatever. So Vaseline cotton balls are by far better than this. What I would consider this for is this is more like just another tool for your toolbox to file away up here for later if you ever need to use it. You can know that mothballs you can use for fuel and you can also use them as a fire starter if you do something similar to this. So it's kind of a neat thing to know. 